Hello and good afternoon. This is RedFacelofRenkerval.com and today is Friday, so it is time for another Tax Friday. How awesome is that? So, in today's video, I want to show you how to do uh, fill down in DAX. We will see how it's done in Power Query too, but I will show you how, how to do it in DAX. And here's a spoiler. I have actually used a max x function to do it. So now that you know that, how about you give it a go and try to do it yourself. If you get stuck or once you've done it, come back here and you see we did the same way. So without any more delay, let's get the video started and I'll see you at the end. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the fill down function that you have in Excel and Power Query, but we're going to do it with DAX. Now we are at it. I'm going to show you also in Power Query because there is a few things that you need to do or one thing that you need to do to make it work. So for those of you that do not know what fill down is, is when you have, for example, like here, a column with product number. You have the same here. You have two numbers that are repeating and you have a country, Germany, and you want to have Germany on all the rows where the product number is the same. So here, 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 and Spain here and here. So to do that in Power Query, if you go in here and do transform fill down, it won't do anything. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is to replace blanks with nulls. And when you do the fill down now, it will work. But you see what it's doing, right? It's just getting whatever you have in there and filling it down. And that is not what you want. So we are going to sort these columns. And now that we have everything in beautiful order, we will do fill down. Not in there, sorry, but we will do fill down in there. So, and then you can see that it works perfectly. Now, if you have, for example, as you can see here, we have Germany as the first row, so it's filling down correctly. If Germany was not on the 30th of November, it was on the 29th of December. Let's change that. So when you order, you can see that they don't fill in there and you fill down, it won't fill down correctly. For that, you need to group by product number and then do the fill down. Okay. And I have some videos that I have shown that. So it is definitely possible to do this is a DAX video, so I don't want to lose too much time. So there are some things that you need to think about when you're doing fill down with Power Query. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to do it with DAX. So if we close and apply, we get again the same table that we had before. And we are going to do the fill down. OK, so as you can see for the table, I have not changed the country to Germany to be on the first row because for DAX, you don't have to. It's going to ignore the order when we're going to do it like we're going to do it now. So how do we solve this? So there is actually a DAX function that is absolutely perfect for it, doing this job and is the max x function. Let's go and look at what it says and what it does. So according to the Microsoft documentation, it evaluates an expression for each row of a table and returns the largest numeric value. So it's like max, but it goes row by row. Okay. And this is exactly what we want. We want to get the value for one um, row and then add it to the rest of the rows. So how do we do it? Let's go back to Power BI. So let's do our measure. By the way, you can do this also as a calculated column, but I'm going to use it. How to do it with a measure. So what we're going to do is max. So it says return the largest numeric value, uh, evaluate an expression for each row. So we're going to do the max function is a table and an expression, right? It says here. So you have to give it in first 
the table that you want to evaluate these against and then you tell it what you want to have as the max value, which column you should use. So what we want to do is to shift enter filter and we want to filter the test table. That's how our uh, table is called. And we want to have test table product number is equal to product number. So what we're going, what we're saying here basically is if this number is on each row, if this is equal to this, then given that one, if this is equal to that value, give that one. If this is equal to what that value, give that one. If this is equal to this that value, just you know, give Spain. So we are basically this. We want to have the country back, and this is where it's going to happen. If we put it in here, you will see that it's actually ignoring the rest of the column is only giving us this and the reason for that is just because it's, the table is getting filtered by country and country is just in this, these two rows it will just return those two rows to make this work you need to say get the entire table give me all the table and do that work for each row and that is when you will get the fill down function and as you can see DAX does not care the order and does not care where Germany, the country starts or ends. Here it doesn't start here. It will just go row by row, check if this number is equal to, you know, the value and then give you the value that it found for country. So it's as easy as that and super powerful. Easy, right? So did you do it yourself? Question number two, was it the same solution? I'm sure that you're going to find a thousand ways to do it. Are you using another function? Do you think it's more effective? Everything, anything, let me know in the comment box. I think it is fantastic when you come with your own versions of the DAX functions that you can use for solving the same problem. That shows how versatile DAX actually is. So it is Friday, have a fantastic weekend. And I'll see you again on Monday. So until then, take care and enjoy the weekend. Bye.